IX chief confirms they have just signed Anthony's replacement. IX are clearly worried they could still lose Anthony to Manchester United before the end of the transfer window. Like most sensibly run clubs, they are getting organized, and the signing of Porto winger Francisco Conceca prompted speculation he could be Anthony's replacement. Now IX have confirmed the signing of Conceca is an insurance in case Anthony leaves with the club admitting they need to ready themselves. Ajax technical manager Jerry Hamstra confirmed this to Het Peru in comments which will give Manchester United hope over Anthony. Hamstra explained, on the one hand you want to have immediately deployable players if you lose CL worthy players. But at Ajax we also continue to think about the long term. How fast that happens depends on several factors. I can imagine that that goes a little faster with a Portuguese or European than with a boy from South America. So Conceicao is another example of bringing the successor, in this case Anthony, into your selection. The rest of Hamstra's comments on Ajax's transfer strategy were a little mixed as he did insist the club do not wish to sell any more major players this summer, but it would be a surprise if he said the opposite publicly, and he admits he cannot guarantee anything. He said, we now want to keep this group together. I assume that no one leaves this core anymore. Of course you can never say never. I've learned that by now. With regard to Lissandro Martinez's transfer to United, he remarked, it became increasingly clear that a longer stay was not feasible because we are simply not at the top of the food chain. This is recognition IX cannot hold on to their top stars, and these comments will only encourage Manchester United over Anthony. TalkSport reported yesterday that Manchester United are not giving up on signing the Brazil international. The Times reports Anthony is determined to sign for United and reunite with Eric Ten Hag. IX's price tag of £70 million has so far put United off, understandably. It's an excessive figure. As the window drags on, some common sense may prevail, and a more reasonable agreement could yet be found. In other news, Manchester United target Frankie de Jong does not want to leave Barcelona, but if he does move on, the Netherlands midfielder, 25, would rather join Bayern Munich or Chelsea than the Red Devils. Eric Ten Hag has seen his hopes of luring Frankie de Jong to Manchester United given what appears another telling blow. The Dutchman has been trying all summer long to reunite with de Jong at Old Trafford as he looks to revive the faltering Giants. However, landing the player has proven a highly frustrating affair. First, there were issues agreeing a fee with Barcelona as they stuck rigidly to their valuation. But with a fee finally agreed, for what appears an initial £56M, they have met a new stubborn resistance from De Jong himself. To add insult to injury, De Jong is perfectly clear that he still sees his future at Barcelona. However, were the issue to come to a head, De Jong is adamant there are only two clubs he would consider joining, one of which is Chelsea, who can offer the player both a more solid trophy chance and guaranteed Champions League football, the second of which is Bayern Munich, who also offer the same, if not more solid trophy prospects. The Bundesliga champions have also just announced the signing of his best friend, Mathij de Ligt, furthering his wish to sign there. And with Ten Hag admitting contingency plans are in place, it seems United really should consider putting the saga behind them before risking any more embarrassment. If enjoyed our video make sure to drop a like and make sure to subscribe to Man United Hub to get all the latest updates.